they can die like anyone else. This is the way they caught me in Piram. We're struck to shoot the shot. We both do maximum damage. No previous special effects. Alright, let's do it your way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you trying to get yourself killed? What should I be doing? Well, I'm there, I'm there. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Still. No talking, okay? Charlie, how about an on-off switch? Uh, do you see a blue button? Yeah. Hit it. What are you saying? What are you telling me, buddy? What are you telling me? Jeez. Jammer's offline, Vic. You can't stop the blacklist. Grenade! of a stunning attack on the massive U.S. military installation on the island of Guam. The deadliest strike on a U.S. base since Pearl Harbor. A group calling themselves the Engineers has claimed responsibility. Released an internet video complete with chilling footage from the attack to lay out their demands. They're calling the attacks the Blacklist. The Blacklist. The Blacklist. America. This is the blacklist. the blacklist. One new attack every seven days. We, we have one demand. You have soldiers in 153 countries. Bring your troops home. Your troops home. Your troops home. Now. 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 For every, every week, week, we will, will attack you. We will not negotiate. You will not stop the blacklist. the blacklist. You have seven days until the next attack. The choice, the choice is, is yours. We, we are, are the engineers. We are the engineers. What's our status? Paladin 1 and the 4th Echelon team are ready, Madam President, but we can't locate Mr. Fisher. His friend is fighting for his life. Find Victor Cost, you'll find Sam. Hundreds dead in Guam, a countdown to more attacks targeting America. The world is looking for answers, Mr. Fisher, and I don't have any. Fourth Echelon needs to find them, and it can't do that without a leader. It's Distro, Vic. One of Vic's men comes with me, no questions asked. You can have Charlie Cole. And Grimm's daughter has recruited one of the CIA's best for mission support, Isaac Briggs. And Grimm is out. She didn't want you on this mission either. Sorry, Sam, that's a non-starter. Nobody works better with you than she does. Welcome to Fourth Echelon, Mr. Fisher. It's pretty sweet, right? 
your first time in a plane? No. A deeper we with this engineer's organization? Nothing yet. Briggs and our contacts are isolating probable candidates. What about the names? American Freedom, American Blood. Potential attacks, each with a timer. We got five days before American consumption? And counting. We're running analytics to find the target locations as we speak. I'll get you up to speed on the plane. Prototype military transport. Loaded with custom modifications. Armory, infirmary, holding cell. Every resource that you'd have on the ground. Fully mobile. It's like the good old days. Problem, Briggs? Just got my subdermal radio put in. Felt like someone used a jackhammer. This puppy makes Air Force One look like a paper airplane, hey, Sam? Do you want to discuss potential upgrades? Later. Walk me through this. News and internet data mining, predictive analytics, photo and video forensics. Plus backdoors into foreign ELIN systems and facial recognition integration from the CIA, NSA, DCS, FBI. All in real time. This is what you were bragging about? Yes, am I? Strategic mission interface. We've made significant improvements since the early system Charlie worked on. I'll let him get you up to speed. The best thing is, you can control everything from right here or from your opsat when you're on the ground. Impressive. Okay, well, let me know if you need anything. I'm gonna check out my new digs. Thanks, Charlie. Hey, Sam. Almost forgot. You're upset. New and improved. Sort of like your SMI light when you're on the ground. Data transmissions, drone control, scanning. Gotcha. All you gotta do is slave it to the SMI, do a couple of calibrations, and you're good to go. Thanks, Charlie. Sweetheart, it's me. Dad, hi. How are you? I saw the news in the Blacklist video. It, it's... I'm fine. I can't tell you where I am or what I'm doing. But... Of course you can't. But you're okay? And Uncle Vic's okay? Vic... It's part of why I called. Vic got hurt in Guam. Hurt bad. But he's gonna be alright. Tell me he's gonna be alright. Well, you know, he's tough. And they're gonna take good care. That's not an answer, Dad. Where is he? Walter Reed, I could be there in an hour. Look, you don't have to do anything. He's on a medvac plane to land still. Charlie's keeping tabs on him for me. As soon as you hear something, anything you let me know, okay? You hear me, Dad? Yeah, I will. Right now, I, uh, I gotta go. Of course you do. Just let me know you're alive once in a while, all right? Yeah, <laughs> I will. I love you, Dad. Love you too, kiddo.
Fremont Station. Sam, think. Grim. Listen, Sam. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Thought maybe we should clear the air. History is history. That's it? Like you said, we've got a lot of work to do. Talk to me about that side op that you run. I've been tracking the engineer's online presence. 60% of their traffic passed through one choke point, a privately owned offshore data hub. Can we tap it virtually? They're too good for that. We need to do it the hard way and do it clean. What's the site? Just off the English coast. It's a converted sea fort. The guy who owns it is making millions hosting this kind of stuff. So we go in, plant a trace, get out. Without being spotted, or his people will wipe everything. Keep me posted. Something just came in from a contact in Benghazi. I'll follow up with you later. Hey, Sam. Briggs, you settled in yet? I'm working on it. I usually get a lot more prep time before I'm wheels up on a mission. CIA is too big to move fast. Operation like this has got to be agile if it's going to work. Understood. Just wish I had a little more planning time. You'll adjust. That's all for now. Looking forward to working with you, sir. Setup almost complete, Charlie. Yeah, hang on. Ow! Ow! Hey. Hey, Sam. We're uh, pretty much good to go here. Just gotta overclock a couple of components and then see if my supply rack gets approved by Her Majesty. Let me know if you have any problems. Okay. Pretty tricked out workshop, huh? I'll be able to upgrade and repair most of our equipment and if we've got enough cash and the right supplies, then I can test out some sick mods for your gear. Sounds like I'm in good hands. You know it. Hey, you need anything right now? Yeah. Might want to look into a helmet. Yeah. Thanks.